Hello everyone. So to answer the simple question, if Haimal is worth farming for gold, in my opinion the short answer is no. Simply because I compared this to one of my previous videos about farming mythic dungeons from Draenor and it, it took about the same amount of time and in this case you make about 500 gold less than you would if you just farmed about four mythic Draenor dungeons. So that's my answer. It's not worth it. And I'll show you through this run every little details. So I'm out here in High Mall and of course Nagrin in Draenor. So this is on 10 man heroic mode. And I tried to do it on 25, but it wouldn't let me. And of course, I have my bags emptied out. And I have my gold right there, 46,083. I'll simply subtract that from the grand total in the end. And of course, I will include this with the repair cost. And I didn't die through this run. It took one single run and it took about 23 minutes. So, you know, it's about the same time as it took me to do some other dungeons. And I am item level 915 and level 110, of course. So I'm not crazily geared, but I do have some pretty good pieces there. Now, the only thing that kind of slows down the process for this raid is there's a bunch of dialogue in the beginning that you have to get through, but I officially counted my starting time at 4.58 p.m. So go ahead and keep that in the back of your mind for reference on how long that took. So just skipping to the first boss here, Cargath Blade Fist. As you can tell, of course, this is 10 man heroic. So it is possible to solo it compared to mythic mode is much more complicated you might need a friend or two to help you out maybe you can solo it i don't know but i haven't been successful with that but on the heroic mode it is definitely possible i see he goes down he only drops about eight gold and change but he does drop the blade fist which was a weapon i was trying to get in a different video funny that it drops now and of course he drops another item and you can see that they're worth a lot of money so i got eight gold in chunk change and about 58 plus 31 so, you know, that's about 90 gold right there. That's a lot of money. And when I'm going through these runs, uh, the best idea behind it to follow is that you kill everything inside. All of the trash mobs and, of course, all of the bosses. Because you're already here in the raid, you might as well clear the whole raid to maximize your profit, of course. And it may not seem like they drop a lot of stuff, but... I'd have to say a good chunk of the money you make is actually from the trash mobs because they do drop a lot of junk and in this case they dropped a bind when equipped item which of course you could sell in the auction house for more money but I just kind of stuck to the sticker price right there and they also drop a bunch of bones and claws and stuff which are worth you know a few gold there and now all of these bosses are really simple in the high mall so this is not a complicated run whatsoever I was able to fully and completely take down all the bosses in one try i'd done this raid before but only in raid finder so i don't really count that as a lot of experience but of course as you see they only drop about eight gold in change from all the bosses and they drop two pieces because this is only 10 man heroic mode and now some of them have some you know some interesting mechanics for you to deal with but they're really nothing too hard or brutal it's just kind of uh it wastes a lot of time like this one you have to fight all his smaller forms and he keeps coming back and regrouping you just have to keep fighting him until eventually he dies of course and same thing with this guy nothing really crazy with him it's just a straight up fight and same thing with the next two bosses pretty much the same thing just a straight up fight no crazy mechanics so at this point i've skipped to the very last boss here again no crazy mechanics and he's really easy to fight he does have a big health pool. The only thing is, his fight is annoying because he has different phases, of course. Where he kind of blinks across the room and he starts casting stuff. Now, if you are a caster, this won't really be too much of a deal for you. But if you're a melee class, such as myself, you see I only have like one ability uh, to use at a range distance. So it can be kind of annoying. And again, it's just more of a, a time waster, right? A time sink. Just wasting time waiting for him to get back down to the ground and of course I take him down pretty easily much like the other bosses and he drops the same thing about eight gold and two pieces of armor for you to sell which are worth 
you know, quite a bit of gold there. So now I'm here in Dalaran to show you the exact amount of money that I made here. So I'm at the blacksmith vendor and I'm at 46,150. If you saw in the beginning, I had about 46,083 gold. So that was only like around 60, maybe 70 gold in actual, you know, gold that I looted. And from all these items, if you count it up, it's about 32 pieces, 32 items that I looted from all of the mobs that I killed. And of course, all of the bosses, which is a lot of stuff, but let's go ahead and see how much we actually make here. And of course, after selling everything, there are a couple of pieces that were buying on equip and there's a weapon that I really like. So I didn't sell that. But of course, I included their sticker price just to give you the grand total. And of course, with the repair bill, this is the net profit that you will have. I'm at 46,728. And I'm going to add the sticker price of 21 gold for this item, 30 gold for that item. And then the weapon is worth 58 gold. So I just add those prices to the grand total to give you the whole amount, of course. But you could, of course, sell on the auction house to make some more money. But I'm not sure exactly how much more gold you can get. So these are the final numbers in less than 25 minutes, specifically in exactly 23 minutes, I made 754 gold, which to me is underwhelming compared to one of my previous videos where I did the same thing in under 25 minutes. I did four mythic drain or dungeons and made like 1200 or 1300 more gold or 1300 gold total, which is about 500 to 600 more gold than doing this raid. So. I would say it's not worth running high mall if you're trying to maximize gold profits. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.